Hey Spidey, isn't Marvel's new Pizzazz magazine fantastic? Fantastic, but not perfect. But Pizzazz has the lowdown on Jaws too, and more Sean Cassidy picks than his mother. It's sensational. Sensational but not perfect. How about Pizzazz's Goofy Guide to TV? It's wild look at sci-fi movies. It's games, puzzles, comics. What could be more perfect? Me on the cover, not the Hulk. Pizzazz, the almost perfect new monthly from the Off the Wall Gang at Marvel Comics. It's John with John Sports Arts and Collectibles coming at you with a brand new video. How's everyone doing out there today in the YouTube universe? Today, we're going to take a look at a short-lived magazine that Marvel Comics put out in the, the late 1970s. It's called Pizzazz. I have one issue of this, of this magazine in my collection, and here it is. And we're going to talk about this real fast, and we're going to go through this magazine. And it's actually pretty interesting. And it's a shame that it, that it didn't really last very long. Uh, 1977 to 79, there were only 16 total issues. Basically, a quick story behind this. Stanley thought this would be really cool to, to create this magazine. Uh, they were trying to compete with Dynamite Magazine, if you guys remember that, if you're my age. I remember that completely. Um, that was a magazine that you could get through uh, Scholastic, I think, book club. I was tied into school. And uh, you get Dynamite Magazine that way. And I do not think Dynamite was sold in the newsstands. Now, Pizzazz, though, was sold at, um, at the newsstands. And, um, you know, it just it didn't live very long. But there are some really cool things inside this. So we're gonna, this issue, we're going to take a look at it. Um, it's basically pop culture. It's a pop culture magazine, uh, obviously with a Marvel influence. And you can see on the cover here. All kinds of uh, people, uh, celebrities that were popular back in the day during this time frame. So really that's it. There are some articles online, uh, some websites, that the blog type websites that have uh, more in-depth information about Pizzazz. If you're interested in just typing in Pizzazz magazine, you'll definitely find them. And uh, there's also a Wikipedia page and that gives you know limited information and really that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about about this uh, this magazine. I wish that I would have purchased more issues of this because there um, there were some really cool ones from 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 what I gather. Looking at uh, photographs of, of the past magazines, very Star Wars heavy um, on you know in a lot of the issues. So let's take a look at this. And there is a special surprise in this issue too, which is awesome. And I didn't even realize that. Um, until I unboxed this and started looking through it. It's pretty cool. So this one's from August 1978. It was 75 cents. You can see the Spider-Man uh, little logo up here in the corner. And it says, Marvel Comics, Comics, excuse me, miraculously presents pizzazz. I remember thinking this was kind of weird. And, you know, I wasn't into some of these people that, that you can see on the cover here, like Sean Cassidy right here. Um... You know, Saturday Night Fever was really big, but there's Howard the Duck, and you got Reggie Jackson and Charlie Chaplin, and I think that's Bill Bixby, who played the Hulk on TV, and Peter Frampton, and I think that's Suzanne Summers. You got W.C. Fields, uh, Woody Allen, <laughs> yeah. uh, Jacqueline Kennedy, I believe that. So that is Jimmy Carter, President Carter, um, back then too. So pretty cool stuff. And uh, it says here, special issue, what are your chances? You can't miss. And kid, we're going to make you a star. That's basically the theme of this issue. It says, guide to putting your name in lights. Punk, there's a punk article in here. And I am so upset what I did uh, to this magazine. And I'll show you. There's a cookie test article, optical illusions, puzzles, Star Wars. Pretty cool Star Wars thing in here that we're going to get to later. Uh, prizes and games. So let's get into this first page and take a look at it. And there is, uh, again, I love these old ads that are in the comic books and magazines, and they're just they're just pretty sweet. Brings back a lot of memories. There's a bazooka ad here for smooth and juicy bubble gum by Bazooka Cherry Flavor. Smooth and juicy introduces a wild new bubble gum flavor that will blow your mind. 
I do remember that gum and it was pretty sweet. Okay, there's the um, table of contents here. You miss issue of pizzazz. This is issue number 11. Um, <laughs> they visit Joey Travolta, John Travolta's brother. And uh, all these other things that we talked about that are that were on the cover. Let's just take a look. Publisher Stan Lee. Okay. So you got the pit stop right here. Stan Lee's soapbox. There is... Um, I guess, is that Bob Dylan? Yes, it is. And you could have your worst joke. There is Tatum O'Neill. Now definitely a looker as an adult. Big time child star. Paper Moon, right? Um, the Ryan O'Neill, or dad. And then uh, Bad News Bears. She was a bunch of other films. And married to John McEnroe. I don't think she still is. Tatum O'Neill. I think she was married to John McEnroe. Always had a crush on Tatum O'Neill. Okay, the last word. Uh, this just breaks down. I'm not going to look at everything here, but you can see um, Sean Cassidy, uh, U.S. Weather. I remember that there was a big time um, snowstorm that uh, we lived in Boston at the time. I remember it hitting, and it, I remember the snow being massive and to me, it seemed like it was 20 feet high, but it wasn't. But it was a, a lot as a nine-year-old um, still living there. And then we moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, a year later after this was this magazine came out. So pretty interesting to see that. It brings back some memories. And let's keep going here. So Humphrey Bogart, let's just keep going because we're going to be here all day with this. Now, this is an article on CBGB's, the famous um, New York punk rock club, rock club that was in Hell's Kitchen. I, I'd gone there multiple times in my college days. Uh, and like an idiot, I cut out a picture here of Kiss, which when we flip the page over, we'll, you'll see it. But, you know, that was the home to these artists right here, Patti Smith, the Ramones, television, um... Yeah, I mean, it just, uh, this is a shame I cut out the picture of Kiss, which is on the other side here. But I, I do uh, have some interesting stories about CBGBs. One was when a rat ran by my by my feet uh, and the tail brushed my ankle. Because um, I was in the summertime, I was there, uh, there visiting um, a friend and also there for a music conference and, uh, sat down in the booth. I think I was watching the band Big Dipper, who are a Boston band. And, uh, I felt this thing, <laughs> uh, rub up against my leg. I look down, I see a big old rat. And that is a true story at the old CBGBs. And I think I jumped 10 feet in the air when I saw that. That wasn't, <laughs> it was not fun. Um, but, uh, saw some cool bands there. A few times I did go. And you can see here. Um, Kiss. I cut the picture because I was a big Kiss fan at this point in time. Uh, and then would get interested in other groups as I got a little older. Tons and tons of other groups. Alternative rock bands, punk bands, new wave bands. Okay, let's continue here. You got a popsicle ab. Kid eating the popsicle. And you could enter this uh, sweepstakes that Spalding was putting on with Popsicle, and here are the prizes right here. Pretty cool stuff. One Wilt Chamberlain autograph basketball you could have won. Uh, winners receive one official college football. It's a second place, place prize, a fourth place or more prizes. Uh, it says here ace golf balls, official baseball, championship tennis balls. The grand prize is the Super Bowl trip to Miami for Super Bowl number, what, 13? Okay, pizzazz chocolate chip cookie taste test. Okay, that's kind of wild. Um, I guess they test out all of these cookies here. Chip Roos, I remember that. This is the cookie dough. Uh, you got Chips Ahoy, the old um, packaging for that. Uh, looks like Famous Amos. Loved Famous Amos cookies. You got, um, those are Keebler. And then I can't really read that one, but that one looks pretty good. And then you got Pepperidge Farm, and then I don't know what that one is. Does it say it on here? Pillsbury, that's Slice and Make. 
Archway. That's what that might be. Or maybe that's Archway. Anyway, Burry's Best. That's what that is. This must be Archway. Love the chocolate chip cookies. Okay, here is the kid. We're going to make you a star section of the magazine. There's a cartoon. Now, I just... Of course, I had to write and draw stupid mouths and eyes. And, you know, you're a kid. You do dumb, stupid stuff as a kid. I've showcased comic books that I, you know, destroyed. And I learned my lesson. And I think this is the end of me doing this kind of thing to any kind of uh, comic book publication. Um, and because uh, all the rest of my stuff is like in phenomenal shape and I didn't do anything dumb like this to any of my other comic books or magazines from back in the day. But I did it to this one, which is kind of a shame. Uh, so they got Rolling Stone, calling it Rolling Rock. You got 17 called Heaven Teen. You got Time. <laughs> I just... I don't know what I just did here. Um, and then you've got the part of the subscription insert. Uh, now, I also wrote my first and last name down here. And that's why these sticky notes are on are on the pages. National Nose. It's supposed to be National Enquirer. You can see all the people that are popular back then. you got Mick Jagger. You've got um, John Travolta, Sly, Sly Stallone, Sylvester Stallone. Rod Stewart, and who is that? Is that Alice Cooper? I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't look like him. Um, it's not George Harrison, I don't think so. I'm not sure who that is. Feel free to comment down below. Okay. You got uh, the Cassie brothers. Oh, no. one Is they both brothers? That was from that TV show that they had. The Hardy Boy Mysteries or whatever it was. Um... You can see my name right there. I put my first and last name down like a big old dummy. Never thought I'd be showcasing this um, on the internet. Didn't know the internet was going to exist back then. So I probably just did this for fun, you know, show my friends and be a goofball. Um, some stars of the day. I think that Liza Minnelli. I'm not sure who that is right there. Okay, keep going here, John. Star is born, like a little... Mad Libs kind of thing. You put words in there. Uh, or no, you do it down here. Use the, the 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 words down here to put in here, and then you get a, a little story, I guess. 24 Safari cards for a buck. Those are probably worth something nowadays, I would imagine. Plus a free special set of 24 cards. Oh, boy. I wonder if these are the same ones that they came out with. Um, uh, they had sport ones too. I'm not 100% sure. It's pretty cool though. See that? Okay. Worm your way into the limelight. It's all different steps to do that. Um, we won't go into all of this here, but let's continue to go. So, you, so now the next thing here is now that you're a star game. And there's the rules right here. You can play this game. Get a movie contract, it looks like. Or no. What recordings do? All kinds of cool stuff to be a star. How to act like a star, even if you're not. So little tips on doing that. Don't know who the artist is for these. Looks very familiar, though. And um, I don't think it says it anywhere here. It probably says it in the in the credits, the you know, the credit section in the beginning. Okay, continuing on. New Cox Dune Buggy, first off-road uh, RC, so remote control car right here from Cox. When you race with Cox, you race with the best. <laughs> uh, I think that's really funny what I just said there. Some of you probably will get a little chuckle out of that. Pizzazz Puzzle Page. I did not fill this in, thank goodness. So you could have done these kind of mazes and all kinds of cool things right here. On the puzzle page, pizzazz poop. I guess that's the scoop on all the uh, the stars. World's renowned uh, gossip gossip section here. Got Barry Manilow, Farrah Fawcett, rest in peace, and Marie Osmond from Donnie and Marie. There's also a Marine Military Academy ad right there. Kind of interesting where they place that. Serious business. It's a, like a Dear Abby type sec section. Write letters in. I wonder if those are real or not. Okay, here are the uh, con continuing on with the 
people that were involved in the magazine. It's pretty cool. I'll take a look at those. Could have subscribed right here. Here is the actual insert here. This is, oh, well, there's more. This is something else here. Um, so there's two write-ins you could have done. There's this one. Again, I wonder if how many of these were real people wrote in. I always wondered that. This is kind of cool, though. The ad in, the uh, subscription ad insert's still in here. It's Incredible Hulk. Spider-Man. This is definitely... Uh, Heavy on the Spider-Man Hulk, too, I believe, in the issues. A Day at the Beach, so you can look through this and try to find uh, certain things. Just read through it. Probably get some laughs. This is what I found so awesome about this. So in each of these issues, I believe there were, like, Star Wars, um, like, insert uh, comic stories. Um, I don't think these were part of the Star Wars comic book release. If I'm wrong, feel free to comment down below. But um, I wish I would have bought more of these because I, I was a huge Star Wars fan, still am. Uh, big fan of the comic book. Uh, it got, got a little off off the tracks a little bit as it went on after it got away from like the movie stories. and uh, But I still purchased them and I still have them and some are in phenomenal shape, some aren't. Um, and the best of them are like reader copies, but I found this a whole thing intriguing here. Um, and like a Star Wars maybe sub story here, the snow demons, pretty cool stuff. So it's a very short, like three page story. And then you've got uh, more comic book stuff up here. The great American comic strip catastrophe. By Bob, Bob Blob, with Bob Blob. I don't know who did this. Oh, here it is. This was done by something, John or Tom Buller. Okay, Pizzazz Vids is Joey Travolta. They couldn't get John, so they got Joey. Um, I don't remember what movies John Tra Joey Travolta, Joey, Joey Travolta was in, or he might have been on TV. I can't remember off the top of my head. Again, feel free to comment down below. Great White Shark. This is just an ad, though. This is pretty sweet. Look at that scary uh, Great White great white Shark there. And this is our Time Life um, television books. And then you could have purchased uh, these other books. Cats, apes, elephants, reptiles, and birds. Oh, you can get a subscription. The Wild Wild World of Animals. That's what these are all called. For $6.95. That's pretty sweet. Optical illusions. Those were big back in the day. Pretty sweet. Next, more optical illusions. And this is like an ad, ah, but this is pretty cool. Enter the Marvel Universe. The Super Women. The Superhero Women by Stan Lee. How to draw comics the Marvel way. The best of Spidey. I would have loved to have had these. Marvel Fun Book. I think I do have some fun books. Calendar for the Hulk. Superhero Cookbook. The Origins of Marvel Comics. Strength Fitness, another fun book thing. And then uh, Sons, Son of Origins up here. This is pretty cool. See this ad, I must say. Pretty sweet stuff. Rounding this one down, you've got the heroes. It's an early Captain America. Commander Cody. That's where the band is. The band Commander Cody probably got their name from. Buck Rogers. Flash Gordon. Crash Corrigan. And some more modern. you got Charlton Heston, who's in Planet of the Apes. Sean Connery. In Zardos, I don't remember that movie. I'll have to look that one up. Woody Allen, Sleeper, James Conn, Rollerball. I just watched that movie about a month or so ago. Love Rollerball. The remake, pfft, but this was awesome, the original. And then this I watched about four or five months ago, Logan's Run, which I'd seen years ago. Um, really cool stuff. And I think one of the actors, maybe it's her, uh, there's an actress that's in this film, that's in this uh, Australian movie called Walkabout, which I saw as a, as a youngster years after it was released, but 
That's actually now on um, on Prime, if you're interested in that. And we end here with New Galactic Heroes. You've got Luke Skywalker, Han Solo from Star Wars, and Star Trek, Mr. Spock, and Captain Kirk. And then a trivia section here. And then the last thing we see on the inside cover page. Oh, no, we've got two more pages to go. Second to last thing, send the Marvel, send for the Marvel superheroes, and you could have gotten the subscriptions to any of these for four dollars and fifty cents. And then send me a free subscription to Star Wars. I mean, come on. That would have been incredible to get these back then. I mean, I bought them at the newsstand, a lot of these, all the comics that I have, and then later got subscriptions um, in the in the eighties, but the ones from the seventies I bought at the newsstand. Um, but this would have been awesome. He could have gotten a free subscription to stars, but he could have picked from these titles. Spider-Man, Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Conan the Barbarian, The Avengers, Cap Incredible Hulk, Captain America, Daredevil, one of my faves, Thor, and Godzilla. That's pretty cool. But I love the fact that you could have gotten a free Star Wars f um, if you order, uh, let's see, if you order five, you get a free subscription. So you got to choose five titles, but it still would have been awesome to get the free Star Wars subscription to go along with it. Okay, last thing we got from the Marvel Archives. Hey, look. 1949. Wow, that's pretty sweet. And then you got the old, I love these ads, prizes or cash. And I would dream of owning these toys and cool things in here. And um, the Olympic Sales Club. You can get these and many more valuable prizes or cash. I like to sell Christmas cards. And I think I tried this and it was like such a major fail. <laughs> I couldn't get anyone to buy these Christmas cards. I think, did they send it to you for free? They sent you a sample book is free. Then you may need to purchase the... Them, I don't know how. Let's see. It probably goes into how. It's too too much to read right now. Um, I'm sure other people out there who are watching this video may have done this too as well. But you know, you always dream about having some of these items and like the bike and you know electric football and um, there's a watch there and a dune buggy remote control and a camera and a backpack and. A TV and a guitar and a, oh, a police scanner. I mean, a skateboard. I mean, there's so many different things here. You could call too, like this kid is right here. He's making the call to 1 800 528 6050. I wonder what happens if you call that number. What happens? I always wanted to do that go through one of these old magazines and call the 1 800 numbers live, but I don't have the kind of setup to do that. Um, that would be a really funny video to do. I'm not sure if anyone's ever tried that before, but go through one of the old magazines and see if these numbers still exist and where that where you end up. Or call the old card shops that are in the old magazines and see if those exist. I'm sure I'm giving away some ideas and someone's going to steal them and use them in a video here on YouTube. Maybe I'll get to it before then. Um, okay, last thing. The PDQ. I guess these, I kind of remember these two. They were like a... A dissolvable, um, I you know, uh, mix that you can put in the in in the uh, milk and then get a, either a strawberry or a chocolate milk out of it. So that's pretty cool. I remember this is. I don't think they make PDQ anymore. It's probably long gone. But there it is, guys. A little bit longer than I thought it would be, but I wanted to go through this slow and look at it because I have not looked at this in a long, long, long time. This issue of Pizzazz from August 1978. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're interested in, in this, um, this, this magazine and learning more, just go online, type in Pizzazz Magazine, and you'll see some blogs and, and other sites that show up and a Wikipedia page that goes into detail. They also had, what is it called? Um, There's another magazine that, that Marvel had had out. And it's not coming up for me. Oh, here it is. Foom, which I did not have. That was in the in the 70s as well. But um, those can be extremely valuable. Some of the Foom magazines. And uh, those have been featured here before by other YouTube channels. I don't have any Fooms. Um, I was too young when Foom came out to know what the hell it was. 
Um, but hey, this was cool and I wish I would have purchased more of these and you never know. You might, I might come across these at a flea market or a garage sale some, somewhere down the road. And if I pick them up, I'll showcase them here on the old YouTube channel here. So that's all I've got for you guys. Greatly appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. The eBay store link is down below in the description. Please go over and check out the eBay store. We've got lots of cool items. Over 11,000 items on the eBay store. I'm adding new pieces every single day. Sometimes I might add 20 pieces. Sometimes I might add 100 pieces. Sometimes they're cards. Sometimes they're collectibles. Sometimes they're oddball items. Sometimes they're really weird, cool things. It's all available over there. Comic books, graded comic books, all kinds of cool stuff is available over at the old eBay store. The link is down below in the description. And that is all I have for you guys today. Greatly appreciate you stopping by and checking this one out. Till next time, folks, this is John with John Sports. As we signing off, and I will see everybody very, very soon. Take care. Lunch at 7 Eleven. Oh boy. What you want when you want it? Like a zesty, spicy 7 Eleven burrito. Oh boy. Or a 7 Eleven ham and cheese. Oh. Boy. A cold drink and a 7-Eleven chili dog. Oh, boy. Good things to eat, good things to drink, good place for lunch. 7-Eleven's got what you want when you want it. Oh, boy. What you want when you want it. Oh, boy. Let's have lunch together at 7-Eleven.